Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. I finally have my Dino's tumbler turner set up exactly the way that I want it. So I'm going to give y'all a little bit of a review as well as show you around my craft space. I've had lots of questions about my setup and I'm going to show you around. So this is my very small 12 by 12 spare room that I use for everything. Everything happens in here. Just give you a look around. All of my PVP glitter. These shelves have been really awesome. Ideally, I want to cover this entire wall one day with shelving to hold all of my glitter and my completed tumblers. But these are really thin, as you can see. They're a little dusty, but you can turn them this way and get lots of glitter stacked into these shelves. I have them sitting up this way so I can just see the pretty colors. They're really thin. So they've been really awesome to hold all of my glitter and everything that I tell y'all about in this video, in this review, I will link it down below just in case you want to grab it for your craft area as well. So the biggest thing for me in this room is this L-shaped countertop. My husband and I built these from an idea that I just took from Pinterest. I have six cubbies here six there. I have nine tucked in the corner back there just for cups that I need to strip and random stuff that I hardly ever use. And then I have all of my Steel Magnolia tumblers over here with some of my packaging stuff. These are 12 inch cubbies and this, this one obviously has nine. So it is large enough to hold my 32 ounce plumps from the steel magnolia with a little bit of wiggle room we just situated these shelves exactly where i wanted them in the room to give me a little bit of space in between my doorways and we put these boards here which i think are either i think they're one by sixes on both sides on the back and on the front to attach them together and then we measured some plywood and then put that on top so these are really sturdy having that extra one by six support on the front makes them really sturdy and these two are not connected so that I can rearrange them if I ever need to but just backed up to each other they're really don't move around a lot when I'm recording and sanding or doing whatever I need to do. And they obviously have a ton of storage space. I have almost everything except for my glitters tucked away in all of these shelves. Now for my recording space, this is my first ring light. It just broke and they sent me a replacement and told me to keep this one. So I popped it up on the table here since I don't really use that area back there and use it to record when I am doing my tutorials. Now, I did say that I was going to link everything that I showed or talked about down below for y'all. I will not be linking these. These are horrible. This light overheats, it cuts off. The cord has actually melted at the USB. So. We're not going to talk about those. I need a new one. I have my regular printer, which is an HP DeskJet 3752. This has been a really awesome printer. It's an all-in-one, so it's compact, it scans, and obviously with all of the florals that I have printed out like this here, it does really well. 
and HP sends me refills every month and I think I pay like five bucks a month to print X amount of sheets of paper and they send me the ink for free whenever I need a refill. So highly recommend that, especially if you're just starting out. It's a really good option that is you know, reasonably priced. My sublimation printer and oven, that's collecting dust. <laughs> I tried and we just sort of melted the paper to the cup so we will revisit that later and then all of my epoxy supplies are over here another huge thing for me is the silicone mats they were like 30 bucks I think off of Amazon but they are huge cover my entire workspace I did get transparent so I can see this really pretty wallpaper I have covering the, the raw wood I wanted to be able to see that through it and this wallpaper is the same wallpaper that I used in you may remember this tumbler from my photo prop tutorial I just ordered a big roll of it and covered these the raw wood that was showing on those and it made it really nice and bright in here I think that is all with my craft space I think I've answered all of the questions that I've got in the past let's get to this tumbler turner so I used to have a turnzilla tumbler turner and I did love it, loved the owner of the company. However, he is slowing up orders and possibly even closing down towards the end of the year. So I wanted to make sure that I got a turner that I could use for a while and get a feel for it so that I would have a place to refer y'all to when you need a tumbler turner. So this is it. I worked with Dino's on getting one that was compact and fit in my craft space and gave me more room. They are awesome to work with. We come up with this stacked five cup quick release. Quick release means that they have this little button here. I got glitter on my hand. Pops on and pops off very easily. And this one, you do have the option of putting a electrical outlet on the side, which is helpful. I have my ring light connected to it right now, but before I epoxy, normally I plug in my heat tool to heat up my epoxy. And it also has two USB ports on there. There's a lot of the smaller ring lights or lights that you can sit up on top will have a USB port. And you can use that for that as well. My last turner was pretty large. However, it was an upgrade from my first one, but it took up about to right there and was a six cup turner. This one is only 18 inches, five cups and 18 inches. And then you have three on top that for your drying rack. And as you can see, craftsmanship is incredible. Give you a look at the back. Sort of. It's made so well. It's clean, it's white, which I absolutely love. And I've already started putting my, my small shop stickers all over it. <laughs> I show my Turners and a lot of my tutorials. So any stickers or decals from small businesses that I get, I like to put them on here because it gives them sort of like a little shout out, like gracefully created Cami Page Boutique, Dino's Turners. We have a Southern Belle over here. So it just gives them a little shout out while I'm doing my tutorials if I show this one in there. So if you ever send me anything, Make sure you put your company sticker in there so that I can pop it on my turner. So I'm gonna show y'all how it works. It does come with a little information sheet about the warranty 
and what you can do, directions on how to quick connect the arms. And you can also pick up some of these, I think it's a five in one. Yeah, it's five layers. Five in one foam is what it's listed as on their website. If you leave it all together, it will fit a 30 ounce tumbler. You take the two rings off and it fits a 24 ounce plump from the steel magnolia. You just pop that off, pop it down into your tumbler. And you don't have to put these all the way in there. It holds it really, really good. So I usually give myself enough room to hold it to do whatever I am working on at the moment. But these just really, they sit right there on the top. They don't screw in, but it holds it really well. And although there is plenty of workspace in between these to do my epoxy, I like, since it is a quick release, I like to hold my tumblers here or over here when I am working on my tutorials. That way I have full control over my tumbler and adding on my epoxy. And then once I have finished adding my epoxy, I will come over here, pop that on, turn on the turner. And then as you can hear, it is very, very, very quiet. You can have all of these running at one time. And it's hardly noticeable that it's even running at all in here. My very first turner sounded like it was dying from day one. It screeched and screamed and cracked and <laughs> it was awful. So these quiet turners are just incredible. And then of course, you turn it off for a second and turn it back on. It will go the opposite way. And now when I unboxed it, which was really difficult, <laughs> and I'm not complaining because there was so much packaging in there, it was near impossible for this thing to get damaged. So huge props to them for packaging it so well that it was safe on its trip to here. I've unboxed it and then put it up here. And this is actually some shelf liner. And I just put it over top of the bottom here to catch any epoxy that might drip. And then of course I have already mentioned my silicone mat catches the epoxy as well. Now, if you don't like these stacked turners, they have singles. If you don't like quick connect, they have the traditional tur turners. They also have travel turners, which I think is awesome, and even some starter packs. So they restock every Saturday. So if you see something on their website that is out of stock, just keep an eye out for their restocks. I suggest joining their group because they will give you notifications anytime that they do restock. But again, this one is a five cup quick release stacked and it only takes up 18 inches of space in my craft room. So that is all that I can think of for the review. I told you all about the turners and all about the storage and how I made my countertops, my setup and my craft room. All that I have discussed or have talked about will be down in the description below. Some with coupon codes, Dino's was generous enough to give us a 10% discount code off of anything from their shop. 
So definitely check that out. If you don't grab a turner, then these foams are awesome. They have other helpful things for your tumblers and all your projects on their website. So just go check them out, see what they have. And that is all I believe. So thank you all so much for hanging on with me throughout this review. I hope that it has helped a little bit either with a good turn of review or organizing your craft space a little bit more. If you have any questions or suggestions, put them down in the comments for me and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you all so much. We'll see you next time.